There is growing concern about a slowdown at West Coast shipping ports, including some of the nation's largest and most critical shipping distribution centers. National correspondent Miguel Almaguer is at the Long Beach port to tell us how it could impact you. This morning at West Coast ports, where everyday products arrive and are then shipped across the country, there's growing concern dock workers may not show up to work again, creating a potential supply chain slowdown. Over the last four days, some of the nation's busiest ports have sat idle as the International Longshore and Warehouse Union battles the Pacific Maritime Association over a new contract. As negotiations over pay, benefits, safety and automation have dragged on for a year, the ILWU says some of its 22,000 rank and file members have begun to voice their displeasure by not showing up for work at critical ports. The PMA counters the disruptive work actions effectively shut down operations at some marine terminals. The problems brewing here could eventually impact you at home. This is sort of a slow burn that could get to a boil pretty quickly. The National Retail Federation urging the president to intervene because roughly 40 percent of our nation's imported goods arrive here at the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. Our partners at CNBC report it could take weeks to clear the short backlog already created, saying many of the containers delayed now are back to school and holiday products. Because of these slow downs or dock workers not showing up, that causes delays, delays in getting those goods into stores, and that costs extra money. And at some point, those extra costs could be passed on to consumers. While today's port problems in no way resemble the massive shipping backlog that threatened the national supply chain during COVID, there is growing concern the problem unfolding here could eventually impact your bottom line. That was Miguel Almaguer reporting. In other news in California labor, Hollywood could soon be facing a double strike. The Writers Guild of America has been protesting their compensation for a month. The union representing actor SAG-AFTRA is set to enter contract negotiations this week. Just last night, they voted with nearly 98% support to authorize a strike.